But there is a form of stem cell research that has avoided these ethical and scientific problems and provided help to suffering patients around the world. That research is adult stem cell research. Adult stem cells, also called somatic stem cells, were originally discovered in bone marrow as unique and somewhat rare cells that renew the blood and immune system and repair diseased and damaged tissue, like tiny cellular ambulances for the body. Since that time, scientists have discovered adult stem cells in many organs and tissue, including blood, muscles, skin, liver, brain, and even fat tissue. These adult stem cells, the advantage is, is that they don't form teratomas. Um, and they are very faithful to the compartment they come from. So a liver stem cell forms liver, a muscle stem cell muscle. Well, there have been reports that uh, some adult stem cells do have a, what's known as plasticity. That is, instead of dividing and becoming a liver, they might divide and become a muscle cell. Adult stem cells are wonderful cell types. You can procure them from an adult. You don't have to use embryonic stem cells. There are advantages, but there are also disadvantages. These cells don't make every single cell in the body. Embryonic stem cells do. Adult stem cells usually can divide a handful of times, one becoming two, four, eight, 16, whereas embryonic stem cells can divide ad infinitum. They can make more tissue. Adult stem cell research is having much greater success. They don't cause tumors, for example as embryonic stem cells do. So they're now in early human trials for things like spinal cord injury. We have had paraplegics and quadriplegics have had feeling restored in early human trials using adult stem cells. The fact of the matter is that adult stem cells have been used for decades to treat disease. Uh, embryonic stem cells have not been used to treat disease at all, uh, except in animal models. In that respect, adult stem cells win hands down. With new discoveries, Adult stem cell research continues to demonstrate promise for treating many diseases, including cancers, brain, ovarian, breast, and leukemia, autoimmune diseases like diabetes, other leading causes of death such as heart disease, Parkinson's disease, and strokes. Adult stem cells have helped some children avoid a life of pain from sickle cell anemia. Others with severe spinal cord injury are learning to walk again. But what you get from this kind of approach is a patient-specific cure. There's no middleman involved, and there's certainly no drug company that's going to get rich as a result of it. And I think a lot of the, a lot of the El Dorado and the stem cell world is to find some kind of product that they can, that they can sell, as opposed to a treatment that I do for you to cure you. And curing is exactly the kind of possibility that adult stem cell research seems to be approaching. In 1995, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Periodically, my exasperations would become worse and worse as it went on. Um, the time in the hospital became longer. The, uh, the treatments became larger. I said to my neurologist, what happens if my body don't respond to the treatment? What do we do next? and he really couldn't answer me. In 1994, I was diagnosed with se severe refractory Crohn's disease. I took all conventional medications, prednisone, steroids. At 29, I basically became bedridden. I was on chronic pain management all of the time. I had an ileostomy, and that is a bag on my side for waste removal and ended up in and out of a hyperbaric oxygen chamber with an open wound where my intestine had perforated. I was told that there was really no help for me whatsoever and that there was nothing I could do and that, I was, that basically I was going to die. I have a disease called scleroderma and it's an autoimmune disease. Um, it's known as the disease that turns people into stone. My skin was getting very tight all over my body, raising my hands over my head, would feel like my stomach was ripping because the skin was so tight, but then it started to harden my lungs. That's when I was told by my doctor that I had a 50-50 chance of surviving five years. I was 15 when I was first diagnosed with lupus. By the age of 18, right before graduation, I had lost my kidney function. I was 20, almost 21, 
when I was pretty close to the end of my life. The lupus had also deteriorated her heart. She had severe cardiomyopathy to the point where your heart was operating at 10% yeah. capacity. She was already dying from the disease, but another complication that she had was something that was eating away at her flesh, which caused an immense amount of pain. It, it starts as a bruise, and, and then it starts to eat away at the flesh to where it opens up and it eats all the way down nearly towards the bone. It was excruciating. They didn't know how much time you had left, mm -hmm. but they knew it wasn't very long and they just wanted us to do our best to make you comfortable. Make comfortable. Till I died. We had all my friends and family come in, say goodbye, it was... I mean, Karina had already made her funeral arrangements. Yeah. She, you were, you had at asked to be cremated. 20. Yeah, at 20. Then I found out about adult stem cell transplant at Northwestern Hospital in Chicago. I would not be able to stand here today had I not had a stem cell transplant. I probably would not be here at all. Having this stem cell transplant saved my life and it gave me hope that I will be here in five years. Before this transplant, I really didn't have any hope. So I find a lot of the frustration I have is just a lack of education. People just don't know about it. Regular people don't know about it. Doctors don't know about it. I don't understand why it's not being shouted from the rooftops. I mean, amazing things are being done with your own stem cells. At this point, stem cells were a very ethical and moral Dilemma. Dilemma, and there was a big debate surrounding it and some issues and concerns, but after reading it and sharing it with some of the doctors, the idea wasn't that the stem cells came from embryonic stem cells, but they in fact came from Karina's own stem mm -hmm. cells. They were cleaned and purified to the point where the disease was stripped from the new stem cells and then reinfused back into her just like a blood transfusion. So, so it, it was pretty much like rebooting a computer. They do the adult stem cell, they reboot your immune system, and um, I've been MS-free now for five years. This July is my fifth year. I live a normal life, I coach hockey, I play racquetball, I golf. Everything is good. I cannot complain about anything in my life at this point. With medicine, it's tremendous. If I didn't do the stem cell transplant for my MS, uh, who knows, I would probably be in a wheelchair today. Really, it was against all odds. She made medical history and medical news. Her doctors were so amazed. And from the point of reinfusion, within, I'd say within two weeks, things started dramatically changing. Hi, Uncle. Um, I didn't want to forget you, and I love you too, and Boo and Jay and um, Abu. <laughs> But um, I love you too, Uncle. And I'm gonna get better for you guys too. It saved my life. It gave me a second chance of life. And without this option, I would have never had that. I think not only did it save her life, but she is completely <laughs> normal today. Yeah. She's clinically normal. She's symptom Married. free. She's been able to resume a normal life and pick up right where she left off. Adult stem cell research has provided benefits to human beings through clinical trials and treatments of over 70 diseases based on peer-reviewed published results with patients. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Me too.